were fighting already over the yellow mobile roll. All right, y'all, we've just arrived at the turret. As you can see, we got the high school there in the background. Chase and my dad are getting the bot all inside the school. And yeah, we're just gonna get started shortly. All right, we're inside the school. As you can see, we've got a packed house tonight. 53 teams ready to roll for the start today. We did not pass inspection, so we're gonna be a little bit too wide. So we're gonna have to, uh, I guess we're gonna have to make it a little bit thinner. But yeah, uh, we we're really worried about being a little bit too high because of the new goal carrier we added. But hopefully we'll be able to make ourselves thinner and be ready to roll in qualifying. So Chase, what's going on? I'm trying to figure out how to get the drivetrain to work because some of the motors are too wide for inspection. So I'm trying to see if it works with two motors and then maybe we can put the other motors on when we get back. Now our bot is out in the tractor field with the Chase. Uh, it's working really well. Uh, we're able to get all of the goals up onto the platform. So we're just going to keep it how it is and get ready for Q1. fix it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do right now. I'm just trying to, right now I'm just trying to make sure everything's set here for doing skills. I'm trying to get the, the chain on here to work. Everything just keeps skipping or breaking off and I'm not sure why. And yeah, I mean if we can fix that we're going to be a lot better. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Alright guys, we just finished our second match. Uh, we try to get two uh, goals up on top of the platform, but because there was one that was weighing it down on the left side, even though we put it right in the center each time, it just didn't balance. So we're just going to try to um, try to clear off the platform before we try to stick anything on top of it. We're only two right now, so we really got to pick up the window to have any hope of making it to the alliance round. So. I'm trying to get our watch on here working because other, our other alliance partner, they want us to help them get the autonomous win point. So we're just working on getting the claw to re release the ring into, into here. And so far it's been working very well. Hopefully it'll work in the, in the match. All right, guys, we just finished our third match, and we won with three goals on the platform, which is a little bit forgotten because we forgot the zero. So, yeah, it was, it was really exciting, and we used our mini lift to get all of them up there, and we didn't even use our, our higher lift, so that was pretty impressive. But yeah, we also got the win point, because that's how we used, um, we used the, the grabber thingy to get put some rings inside of the, our, our line pole to... Uh, we just finished our fourth match. We got two up on the platform this time, which wasn't as much as the last time, but still pretty good. 
We just got back from the tournament. We feel like we had a lot of positives come out of this one. We were one of two middle school teams that made the alliance round, and Chase was able to build us a working autonomous program that ended up beating the one and two seed in the round of 16, and that was awesome. But we also broke a lot in this tournament, but Chase was able to fix that. Yeah, we found out that the, we, use the, we use chains to connect the motors to the wheels, and the problem we had with that is the chains would all would keep skipping and snapping off whenever we would push against someone or or like we would get stuck on any on rings and all that. So we found that that's not exactly that wouldn't be our best option. So now hopefully soon we should be able to use gears instead and that way we can move the motors inside the bot instead of sticking out so then our motors will be more protected. 
the bot should be stronger. We won't have any of those skipping issues. And yeah, that should help us improve the drivetrain a lot. So all in all, we had a successful tournament. Chase got a few ideas on how to get our bot a little bit sturdier for our next tournament. Uh, and yeah, we wanted to give a big thank you to Granberry for allying us with, with us in the Alliance round. Those guys are awesome to work with, and yeah, they just did super good in the round of 16. Yeah, our next tournament is in Galveston in about a week and a half. It's going to be our first signature event in VEX, so that's going to be exciting. And yeah, we're just going to try to have some fun.